Hello fellas, it's me again. Time for another video. Just a quick one today. It's about metal halide lamps. In front of you at the top you can see a 400 watt Philips in the middle, a 250 watt Osram and at the bottom is a 150 watt Nava. These are used in all sorts of applications for outdoor use such as floodlights and street lights. Metal halide lamps can be used indoors with the advent of the ceramic metal halide lamp they have got a series of compact lamps which uses a G12 lamp holder. They are quite compact and they are very good when placed in compact reflectors. You'll often see these in shop displays. Now if I take the old external uh, quartz metal hairline lamp, this is 150 watt, you can see the size difference there. They are a lot more smaller. A lot more smaller. <laughs> now amazingly they do an even smaller version. A 20 watt metal halide. You can see the size of the arc tube there. If I put my finger there, it is tiny. Let's have a look at it close up, eh? Get the macro lens out. This is a close up of the arc tube. It's made from sintered aluminium oxide, also known as alumina. That small tab there is the getter. That's designed to maintain a hard vacuum of the outer envelope. The outer envelope. It is made out of fused quartz in order to survive the very high temperatures. Let's have a look at the control gear of the lamp and then we'll fire it up. This is the ballast I'm going to use to run the lamp. It's a Tridonic Power Control PCI 20 22 Pro C011. It's designed to be used on 220 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. What I'll do is I'll fire it up and then I'll add some neutral density filters to the lens and then we can see the arc tube at full power. So, powering in 3, 2, 1. manually closing down the iris. Starts off green, that's because it's pure mercury discharge at this point. When the temperature and pressure increases inside the arc tube, the metal halide salts gradually vaporize and join the discharge You'll notice that when the colour rendering becomes better and the luminous flux greatly increases. Normally takes between uh, well, two to four minutes maximum I say. Pretty much full power now, two minutes, lovely warm wise. Let's get the ND filters and let's have a look. It's a close up of the arc tube full power. You can see some condensed halides on the lead in stems there, and also at the bottom of the actual capsule, capsule itself. It's amazing when you think how small it is, how tiny those electrodes must be to withstand some of the temperatures in there. Arc lamps, gotta love them. Let's put another filter on. For those interested, it's got a lifetime of 12,000 hours. It produces 1,650 lumens at 3,000 Kelvin. The arc voltage is 92 volts and the lamp current is 200 milliamps. 
Thanks for watching.